Hey everyone. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so we're at Knott's Berry Farm for um, their tasting event. So it's Taste of Knott's. So this is our card with everything that they have. And I'm trying to find stuff that are boysenberry flavor. Um, so the parks is not actually fully open. The rides aren't. Um, they just have the tasting. So there's a lot of people here. But they're keeping their social distance. There's a lot of people with masks on. And um, yeah, there's just people wandering around. It's really hot too. It's Sunday when we're recording this. And um, yeah, it was his idea. Yes. Um, he's actually leaving for two weeks on a trip to drop off his brother in New Hampshire. Yeah, uh, Hanover, uh, New Hampshire. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he's gonna be gone for two weeks. Um, uh, we don't usually do vlogs. I think the last vlog that we did was when we went to Seattle. Yeah, so um, this is just pretty chill at this point. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just um, show you some food. Um, there's gonna be some footage of just like what we see, but there's not really too much that's going on, like too much exciting things. Um, but yeah, so we'll just see how this goes. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> My gimbal said it's like pretty low, um, but we got our first item and it's dessert. <laughs> it's um, boysenberry um, deep fried uh, pie bites. Yeah. So yeah, I like I said, I've been trying to look for um, boysenberry items. Um, they look really good. They smell really good. So we're gonna give it a go. Oh, and um, there's multiple food booths. I think it goes from A to like Z, but some of the food items um, at each of the booths, some of them repeat at other booths. So, Oops. I don't know, we'll see. But um, for each tasting card, you get to pick five items. So he used his cards, so and now we're down to nine items. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty what good. Do you think? It's good? Yeah, really good. So we're gonna keep eating. See you later. this really big cookie yep. it's like a cookie sandwich so it's a blue velvet um, lemon flavored cookies with vanilla soft serve sandwiched in between so I'm really excited it is a lot bigger than I thought it would be so see, it's almost in. as big as my my face whoa I'm gonna take a bite Mm. Is it? Yeah. My favorite, even though we've only had two items so far. The cookie is really soft. Um, the oh, cookies good. are really lemony. And it's pretty good soft serve. So we're gonna keep eating. I'll try to be more descriptive with food. I'm not really like a food blogger, but I um, thought this would be fun, especially <laughs> during these times. So yeah. we're gonna keep eating. Okay, bye bye. bye.
speaking up a little bit because it's a little bit loud in this area. But here's our third item, and we we finally found real food that we wanted to try. So this is um, a slow roasted brisket sandwich with barbecue sauce and coleslaw, and we're gonna give this a try. It's like super hot over here with my mask on. I keep sweating, so I have like a sweat mustache right here. <laughs> And how is it? Mm. Okay. Yeah. The barbecue sauce is really sweet. Um, and the meat is soft. And it hasn't stuck to my teeth yet, so that's a good thing. So we're gonna keep on eating. Okay. Bye. Yay, it's working. Um, so my camera actually overheated for a bit, so I was able to. Um, record for a bit. We're gonna try talking as loud as possible yeah. because we are in the Fiesta area so they have more um, like Hispanic food or? Yeah, he's Hispanic heritage. Um, yeah, foods. Food. So um, we have real food again. This, shrimp tacos. Yeah, <laughs> shrimp tacos. And then we have some agua fresca and it's boysenberry flavored and boysenberry and mint. And mint so yeah. it should be good. We also got some free water um, it's a really hot day, yeah, um, but yeah, so he, he's gonna try it out because that's um, the main one he wanted to try out today. Yeah, let's see. And I'm gonna <clears throat> turn the camera towards him. There we there go. You go. Mm -hmm. I love the flavor. It has like a chipotle spiciness to it. Mm, definitely recommend it. It's really good. <laughs> Um, and then I'm gonna give this a try. There is a paper straw with it, so it might affect the taste, but it's okay. I don't know, I've never drank boysenberry before, but I definitely can taste the mint. It's really refreshing on a hot day. Um, so yeah, this event goes until the 13th, so I don't know when I'm gonna actually post this up. Um, but yeah, there's three different areas. The ghost town, broad, Broadway? Broadway. Boardwalk? Or? Broadway. No, boardwalk. boardwalk. Mm -hmm. And then um, Fiesta Village. Yeah. So they had those three areas. Again, it's from A to Z for the booths. And they added an AA um, because I guess they had more than A to, a to Z. Yeah. Um, they do have some game booths open here. So they have like this like big piano, piano, pinata game. Um, they have that weird squirter thing where you have to race um, to see who reaches the top. And um, that's pretty much it. There's a bunch of stores that are open in the different sections, but other than that, it's just main focus is food because yeah. it is the taste of knots. So, um, see you. really quickly because there's music blasting where we are um, because we got some alcohol well he did um, so he got specific alcohol for the event so it's red ale boysenberry alcohol yes and then or boysenberry ale boysenberry, yeah. red ale yeah and then this is a boysenberry lemonade um, basil basil yeah tea it's good mostly taste the basil that's good it's good beer Okay, bye. We're probably gonna just stick with drinks because it's getting really hot. Yeah, we. And the later that we stay out here, the hotter it is. So, yeah, um, yeah we'll I probably see three more drinks from us. Um, he got the hatch mac and 
cheese? Kind of, kind of cheesy mac and cheese. Yes, what that, what that is. <laughs> yes to that. Um, and then he also got uh, sangria. Boysenberry sangria. Yeah, so it's all from the same booth. We're still here still chilling. Here. Um, he's most likely going to finish all that. I'm going to take like a bite just for the camera because I'm really full. It's really cheesy. I can taste like jalapenos in it. Um, I'm probably gonna get another one of these like poisonberry lemonade basil ones, and that's gonna be pretty much it. Our ten items. So yeah. I think we're just gonna do a wrap up video with the last item, and then that's pretty much it. We're gonna head out because it's really hot. Color of the day, uh... Hey everyone. Hey, what's up? Um, so we're back in the car. Uh, we walked around the park for about three hours, and I was done. I was over it. So yeah, here's the last item we got. I told you it was gonna be a drink. It's the poisonberry lemonade basil tea. No, lemonade. Maison lemonade or boysenberry. <laughs> there you go, whatever. I don't know. I can't remember the heat. Um, but I did walk away with some boysenberry stuff because it is the 100 year anniversary of celebrating boysenberries. So I had to grab some stuff because boysenberries are actually one of my favorite ber berries. I'm really sad that I didn't get any boysenberry pie with ice cream. That's what I would usually get um, if they had any here or I don't think I've ever had that here but I've had it in other restaurants and stuff and diners um, but I'm gonna just quickly show you all the items and we're just gonna do a wrap-up video or wrap-up of the end and that's pretty much it so first item I got is Knott's Berry Farm poisonberry punch so you're basically supposed to mix it with water and um, it's poisonberry punch so add some ice because it's still hot here in California even though we're heading into the fall season it is freaking hot here uh, next item is berry markets boysenberry barbecue sauce so um, I don't think I ever told you guys but my brother is really into grilling right now um, so this would be perfect for um, when he grills meats and stuff and then we can just dip it in here for uh, marinade stuff like chicken um, and, and pork pork yeah then the last item, because I had to cap myself off, um, was this Berry Market Boysenberry um, Sweet Tea Jam, or jelly, Boysenberry Sweet Tea Jelly, there you go. Um, so this would go good with um, putting on bread that's toasted and butter. That's what my mom and my brother have been doing lately. We either put um, really cooked garlic on top of bread with butter, we put different jams and jellies that we got from family friends, and um, family members on bread and butter too so this would be a perfect mix um, I'm not sure if my family is a big fan of boysenberry but now they will have to be because <laughs> I got so many boysenberry stuff um, but they had uh, other stuff too they had um, candies they had teas even coffees uh, with boysenberry flavor stuff um, but yeah all three of these items was just about $27 so that's pretty good considering like um, two of them are in glass ish yeah plastic glass well this is a glass um the other two are plastic um but i feel like that's a good price and a little goes a long way when it comes to using jellies and like syrups and all that stuff um but overall we're gonna just share our experience so if it were not for the heat i think i would be more excited to try out the food but obviously with the heat comes dehydration and the need to drink a lot so yeah i ended up getting a bunch of drinks which was okay by me um, how about you? Uh, it was a great experience. The heat killed us both. And, uh, <laughs> we're glad to be inside the car with the AC on, ready to go home. Yeah, we're just chilling here in the parking <laughs> lot because we were waiting for the AC or the air conditioning to keep running to keep us cool because we do have like a long ways to go to, back to where I live. Um, but overall, yeah, it was a good experience. I think drink-wise, we definitely like the boysenberry sangria. Um, it definitely tasted like fruit juice, <laughs> and I'm definitely a fan of that because we're not big um, alcohol drinkers, especially me. Um, I, I really like the fruity stuff. Fruity stuff saves me when it comes to drinking alcohol, especially during celebrations, and they want me to drink. As long as it's fruity and masks the taste of alcohol, I'm totally fine with that. Um, for food-wise, I think obviously by looking at back at all the clips, um, it was definitely the blue velvet lemon flavored cookie sandwiches <laughs> with the vanilla soft serve. Those were definitely my favorite. Um, but yeah, those are my favorites for drink and food wise. And then, uh, for me, um, I'm gonna have to give it to the shrimp uh, ta taco. That was really good. I like the flavor of that. 
and drink wise uh, it's hard but I'm gonna give it to the boysenberry basil lemonade <laughs> oh, really yeah good. I mean obviously we got two of those um, but yeah I don't know when this video goes out maybe probably before the 12th but if you're around this area definitely check it out um, also comment down below if you've already checked it out because definitely it was a fun experience hope I wish it was um, better circumstances so we could have enjoyed it better plus I definitely hated the heat um, but yeah it was definitely a fun time we're still trying to figure out what to do during the pandemic um, my birthday is coming up real soon so we're gonna try figuring that out but um, yeah just follow me on Instagram um, and to see what I've been doing whether it's my personal my um, one that's linked to my channel or even my art Instagram so I'm definitely gonna have links down below um, but that is it for this video if you like this video please make sure that you click the like button also share it with your friends um, glad he's back in the video yes. so I'm gonna try to incorporate him more but it's definitely been really hard and um, I've been trying to fix my room and that is a disaster in itself um, but yeah definitely follow all my social media outlets or social media pages and last but not least we hope you have an awesome day have a good one bye, bye. cute Oh no, it's recording. Oh. Wait. No.